Hi, boys and girls. Let's get started on the second part of Words Matter, our project inspired by the artist Robert Indiana. Last time you came to art, we painted our letters. Today, we're going to see if we can make the background. So I left off last time with warm letters and cool letters. Today, I would like for you to use something white to start today's lesson. It can be a white oil pastel or a white crayon. And of course, if you're not allowed to use watercolor paint and you're at home, you can do this lesson with crayons and markers and you would just skip the part that I'm doing right now. Okay, so what I am trying to do is outline each of my letters nice and heavy with a nice thick layer of oil pastel. Crayons work too. I'm going to be using a technique today called Crayon Resist, and it works much, much better if you can put your oil pastel on nice and heavy and thick. This white line is going to really make my letters stand out. Sometimes I turn my paper at an angle like I'm trying to show you here. That helps me see where the oil pastel is. So you can try that if you want to. I would also like to have you put an outline where the folded lines are on your paper. That's going to create like a little border or a little fence in between each section of our painting. Now just observe for a minute the patterns that go behind each of these letters. Did you notice that the patterns in the letters are the same color? So for example, when I am working in the little section where my letter N is, I'm going to use the warm colors, the reds, the oranges, and the yellows. When I am in the section where the letter I is, I'll be using the blues, the greens, and the purples. So you're going to put patterns on using your crayons. If you're at home and you'd like to use oil pastels, you could do that. You're going to put patterns on and we will be painting over the patterns in just a little bit. That's called a crayon resist. So I'm going to take you through this video and let you watch. Just keep in mind that we are using the same color families to make the patterns. And use your artistic freedom. You can make the patterns in any way that you would like. <laughs> So let's get started with the watercolor paint. I wonder what colors I'm going to use in the backgrounds of each of these letters. Have you guessed it yet? Well, the letters that are warm, the letters that I used warm colors on, I'm going to use the opposite, the opposite color family for the background. So here in my uh, letter N with the letter N, it was done with the warm colors when I painted it. So when I'm doing the background, I'm using the cool colors. Any guesses as to why I decided to do it that way? Hmm. Well, the correct answer is opposites make things stand out. So if you have a warm letter, use the cool colors in the background. If your letter is done with cool colors, then use the warm letters in the background to make them really stand out. Have fun painting. <laughs> Well, we have come to the end of our lesson today. 
this project is for a grade, so please take a photo and submit it so that I can see what you did. I am really looking to see if you know the difference between warm and cool colors and can use them as opposites. And remember, using crayons and markers instead of watercolor paint is totally okay. Have a great day.